today. Hello there. So, um, I thought about um, just starting off without um, having a wait pause today. So no, no kind of waiting right now for, for the yoga lesson to start, but a little bit of talking before we start, a little bit of hanging out. So we're starting at 0.7 o'clock Central European time. So that's in six minutes approximately. So if you'd like to join, feel free to join in. And if you like, you can chat a little bit with me. It's good. So today I just, whew, no, not everything is set up right now. So today I started off with a little bit of meditating as I always do normally in the morning. Uh, my sleeping is currently a little bit strange because it just gets so hot throughout the day. I tend to take a long nap through, through kind of like the uh, supper time or is it dinner time? at least at the mid of the day right i really like to um take some time to to just relax because i'm already so sweaty right so at the mid middle of the day i'm so extremely sweaty and it's so hot yeah it's just a little bit a little bit annoying so I take a long nap there and then I stand up again and I work some more or do something else. How about you? How is it feeling in your, your skin right now with this weather, wherever you are in the world, of course. Um, if you like to join in today, we're starting in about four minutes. Um, so you can come already to a sit if you like. You can bring some books where you can sit up or bring some sitting pillows where you can sit up on them. And just come to a great sit. Come to a great sit. Yeah, come to a great sit. And maybe move your body already a little bit. So I always find it funny if people come into a yoga lesson and they just sit down or really straight to tall and they are not really moving their body, not really listening to their body. But you don't need to sit down right now. You can do something else. You can already move your body a little bit in a way that feels good to you. So we we not have started our yoga lesson, but in actual that we we have started. So so we have started already, even though we're waiting for three more minutes to really start. So that's funny, right? listening to your body and today's topic will be growth whatever this means to you whatever that that word means to you <sighs> yeah and we are going to introduce us in just a little bit of a moment and first of all let's set up the camera again because you know my camera my camera is messing with me each day so let's see if we can get the camera to work. So usually the first time until it works the first time it's taking some time and then uh, when I renew it then it should kind of work I guess. Sometimes it's a little bit laggy and sometimes it just works. 
it's a little bit better already than uh, a week ago or so. So yeah, I don't know. I, I'll try to fix the camera as soon as possible. So um, I try to use my old smartphone instead of this, this webcam that I'm using right now. Great. How about you? How is your day going? Have you been awake already for a long time or have you just kind of like woken up, woken up? Step outside of your bed, step, <laughs> stepped outside of your bed, rolled outside of your bed and thought like, oh yeah, some yoga would be good. At least that's for me the case. I just stood up an hour ago and I meditated a little bit, 40 minutes. And then now we're here and we're starting in about two minutes. And if you are in a sit already, feel free to just move about your body a little bit. Or maybe come out of your sit one more time. See how your body feels. And as you probably know, we're doing this every day. Oh, wait, now it's seven already? Okay, let's start then. So, hello, my name is Marcel. And I'm not alone here, but I'm joined by Sean. Sean sits over here. He's here for entertainment, energy, and motivation. He's a little dragon. He's not an ape, so or a monkey. He doesn't. He, everybody tells me like he looks like a monkey. So <laughs> um, I'm here for the support and for the instructions. Sean is here for entertainment, energy, and motivation. And together we're teaching yoga here every day. On Twitch so if you like to join in live you can do so and as well if you have any questions ideas or suggestions always feel free to hit me up meanwhile the live yoga session and if you like to do some specific yoga exercises ask me about them and we do them uh, if you have any other questions always also feel always free to ask me next to that yeah, I'm very happy to be here today to do yoga with you guys. And with that said, start up. Come to sit if you like to join in. Either you can also sit in a chair right now if you like. You can uh, sit up on a sitting pillow if you have a sitting pillow. If you don't have a sitting pillow, use some books, sit up on them. Root your sitting bones down and then lift your arms up, breathing in deep as you're lifting your arms up. Smiling. Great. How are you? And holding your breath and you have your hands over the head and then releasing again, breathing out. Exactly. And today's topic is growth, whatever growth means to you. When you have your arms next to your body, hold your breath for a moment and then breathing in again. Just this little tiny moment. Holding your breath and your hands are over the head. And then releasing again. Take your time. Breathing in deep into the belly and then into the chest. Get long, 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 grow in all sides, all directions, and then breathing out, releasing. Great. Breathing in, lifting the arms by your side. Long, long, long from your sitting bones to the top of the fingers. And then breathing out, releasing. Great job. From here, directly bring your hands to your thighs and move the palms forward and backward on your thighs. Feel if there's warmth on your palms, if there's 
warmth on your thighs or what do you feel on your thighs right now what do you feel on your palms maybe there's some coldness there what is it check in with your body <sighs> and exactly breathing deep and breathing out with a yawning <sighs> and create this positive yawning So what, what it should be like, it's like positive, <sighs> and it shouldn't be it. <laughs> you can also do what it shouldn't be like, it's just for fun, so. <sighs> this is like the thing it shouldn't be like, but you can do it for fun and smile. And then breathe in again. And, ah, great job. From here, bring your arms forward, bring your shoulders forward, and slightly lift the shoulders up, then backward and down. And don't push yourself too much today. Do as it feels good to you. Connect with your both sides of the body right now. Have both sides connected as we're doing kind of like a mirrored position, right? We want to move left and the right side of our body right now great waking up both sides of the body great and from here release again bring your right hand to the right to the left knee right now right hand to the left knee and not pushing or pulling anything but bring your other hand behind your back and just using your belly muscles to kind of turn yourself a little bit around. Look over your left shoulder. And not pulling the air with the arm. This is just mainly here for the direction here. Gauging your belly. Look over your left shoulder. And then releasing, changing your side. Again, not pulling with the arm. But the arm is there for the direction. Look over your right shoulder. Breathing in deep, get long from the sitting bones to the top of the head. And as you're breathing out, look over the right shoulder. And then release, come back. Woo! Awesome job! Good. And from here, yawn a little bit more if you need to. <sighs> yawning is, yawning is, um, Infectious. That's good. <laughs> good job. And from there, let's stand up. Stand up in a mindful way, slowly. Make sure. Slow, no need to go fast here. Great. And from here, let's shake our legs a little bit. Jump out of your legs a little bit. And release your shoulders, you release your neck a lot, a lot. So jumping out of the knees right now. This is a very underrated exercise and it gets the whole body activated. So the whole body gets activated, release your shoulders, release your neck. Great. Releasing your shoulders, your neck, a lot, a lot. And from there you can also jump out of your heels a little bit more if you like to. Whoop. Jumping out of the heels, awesome. And if you like to, you can jump out of the toes as well. Try to really jump down into your heels again. So the toes connect and the heels and the knees as well. Knees are like a spring a little bit. Use them like a spring. Release your shoulders, release your neck a lot. Great, and release completely. Come to a good stance again. Shake your legs. How do your legs feel today? 
check your arms a little bit. How do your arms feel today? Connecting with them, bring your hands forward and up, fingers are pointing forward, and extend the thumb up, then the thumb in, and thumb up, thumb in, thumb up, thumb in. Circling the thumb forward, great. Circling the thumb to the back. Check in what, what your arms are doing right now, if you're doing this movement. Are, how are your fingers moving, how are your arms moving, then release your arms, shake them out interlace the fingers and let's go a little bit side to side here left right left and if you like to challenge yourself a little bit you can try to go into the other direction so there there are two directions here one is kind of like easy for me the other is kind of like difficult how is it for you shake your wrists out and then Bring your right hand up, fix it in place, grab around with your left hand and just move your, with your left arm, with your left hand right now, the wrist around, the shoulders maybe are moving a little bit, the elbow is moving a little bit, right. Then release that, shake your wrists, shake your shoulders, shake your elbows and then bring your left hand up. Fix it in place, grab around with your right hand and move your left wrist with your right hand. And see where you can go here as well. See how your wrist wants to be moved right now. Shake your wrist, shake your fingers, release again. And one more time, bringing your hands together. And this time we come into the middle and we really want to bring the same effort to both sides. So using the arms, bring the same effort into the left side and the right side, moving. Great. How does that feel? Doing your set. So really thinking about same effort, left and right hand, same effort. Great. Shake your wrist, shake your shoulders, shake your fingers. from there we are warming up a little bit more so we engage the knees here engage the thighs knees and thighs engaged from here release your arms by your side so arms are completely relaxed and we are turning from the belly button to the left and to the right right and we keep the knees and the thighs engaged as much as we can all the movement is coming from the belly button great Look left and right, keeping your head in between the shoulders, or you can look straight forward. These are the two variants you can do, and this should feel really good in your wrists and your hips, <laughs> your lower spine, the shoulders. Shoulders are getting a lot of choose. Keep your knees and thighs engaged a lot, a lot. Make sure all the movement is coming from the belly button. Super, super hard, even for me. More and more movement out of the belly button. Right. Smiling. <laughs> Don't forget to smile. And then close your eyes and just release. Release this movement and feel everybody's going left and right, maybe feel how there's some impulses that are still going left and right and from these impulses lean a little bit forward to your toes and to the right to the back to the left to the front hey there pumpkin thank you for the host how are you today good to see you and then from there, circling into the other side. If you haven't already started in circling into the other side, circle into the other side. Really good to see you, pumpkin. How are you doing today? How is it going? So as soon as your birthday, soon and you're planning to do some yoga, I, I marked it down in my head. I really try to join there, of course. Shake your wrists, shake, uh, shake your legs, shake your arms. 
Hi, all good. Thank you. How are you? I'm doing great, Pumpkin. Thank you for asking. Shake your arms. And from here, we're coming back down into all fours right now. So Sean is moving out of the way. Arr, don't just throw me out of the way. <laughs> so bring the shoulders over the wrists and the hips over the knees. So today's topic, uh, Pumpkin, is growth. So we, what does growth mean for, to you? Having your shoulders over the wrist and hips over the knees, starting to arc forward and up, breathing in. And breathing out, rounding down, vertebra by vertebra, up, pushing up, and then arcing again from the lower spine up, vertebra by vertebra. Looking forward, breathing in, breathing out, rounding from the top of the head down. Vertebra by vertebra down, really pushing your back up like a cat. And then arcing up again. Great job. And you know, sitting back on your heels, you can either tuck your toes or untuck your toes and just shake your wrists out a little bit. And you know, we can learn so much from animals in a way kind of like how they are moving, right? If we look at them, and for example, we're coming to, to the real cat pose at just a moment. It's kind of like a downward facing dog, but a little bit different, where we really try to engage all our limbs and we try to kind of shake a little bit of the hands. We extend our arms so far, we shake a little bit. But for now, let's just do a little bit of a snake-like position, right? Snake-like movement. So come back in, into all fours and shift yourself a little bit like a snake forward. Right now, like a snake. Try to move like a snake forward on the floor, right? But keeping this um, all fours position. And from there, you're also allowed to do whatever else you like to do right now can bend your elbows a little bit more, shift yourself completely forward or completely back into a child's pose if you want. Or you can do something else that feels good to you, but keep your hands or on the, under the shoulders and the knees under the hips. And from there, just move your body in a way that feels good to you. Good. And from there, bring your hands a little bit more forward. And first of all, we also always, always want to check with our wrists. Um, yeah, sorry, with the sitting, <laughs> with the mounts of the fingers, not with the wrists. Of course, we're doing it for the wrists, not with the sitting bones, but with the mounts of the fingers. These are the mounts of the fingers. We want to press them into each other and then clasp the fingers. And if you're doing this correctly, you should feel all the mounts of the fingers connected here. But we're not doing this right now and it's not important that we're here on the elbows. It's just like I wanted to show it to you in a way that you can see it somewhat. So bring your arms up again, bring your hands a little bit forward. And now it's important that we have the mounts of the fingers connected with the mat, respectively the floor pushing the mounts of the fingers into the floor a lot, a lot, and then bringing your hips up into the sky and just coming into a, somewhat into a plank position between. So plank position is here and going more into a downward facing dog is pushing your hips more up into the sky and come somewhere in between that feels good to you. And from there, we really want to extend our arms as far as we can extend the heels as far as we can and you can round your back and really engage your arms engage your limbs your feet and push up a lot a lot as much as you can and shake a little bit in your back shake a little bit on your arms on your legs and then release great job great job 
and that's what I observed that what is my cat doing or that is what's my cat is doing and my cat is 20 years old so quite old for a cat so probably you should also be able to do that so sit back on your heels again shake your fingers a little bit do whatever you need to do with your arms Yokohana and Grace had really great streams yesterday P Pilates Mama SD2 awesome <laughs> you're connecting with so many people pumpkin that's awesome and from here, bring your hands forward a little bit, push into the mounts of the fingers and shift your hips up into the sky. And from there, start walking your legs a little bit up and down. If you're watching a lot of streams, pumpkin. <laughs> That's awesome. Knees up and down. I saw that Grace uh, sung uh, on Twitch sings, that's awesome. I, I'm going to sing with her very soon. Uh, so, heels up and down here, your chest up a little bit. Don't do too much yoga, right? Pumpkin. <laughs> one, one or a maximum two times a day is enough, especially if you have your own practice going. Then, yeah. Probably one time in addition to that, that is enough. <laughs> and then release your knees down. Bring your knees to the sides. Big toes together. And from there, sit back on your heels. But it's really good that you're connecting so much. And then reach forward by your sides. And release your head down. What about your uh, yoga? yoga lesson that you're planning pumpkin it's on the 17th or when is it exactly and then breathing in deeply into the belly into the chest to the chest your shoulders are a little bit away from the ears breathe in deep and then come up again bring your arms forward Push into the mounts of the fingers, shift your hips up into the sky, then bring your right leg up and bring your right leg forward, step forward, release your knee down quickly and untuck your toe, bring your foot a little bit forward and stretch here a little bit back. You can hold on to your boop. Hold on to your hips and try to lean a little bit forward. If you have some blocks next to you, that would be awesome. Because then you can really focus on not rounding your back. I can cheat a little bit with my wall here. So I can hold there and then I can hinge forward. Keeping your back really, really straight. So for me, this is really, really straight. And I already feel the, stra the hamstring stretch here a lot. So you don't need to go deep here. It's a really, really great pose. Breathing in deep one time. And breathing out, maybe a little bit deeper. And then release, shift yourself forward again. Bring your leg a little bit back so that we have like straight from the knee to the heel straight from the hips to the knee and then we will kind of like want to engage a little bit the psoas here on the side on our uh, leg where the knee is down right now we engage the psoas a little bit and we want to feel a stretch from the hips down so at the hips flex hip flexor from the hips down to our knee and if you don't feel anything you can bring your arms up and just lean a little bit to the right without moving the hips too much. So just lean this little tiny bit to the right. Don't go too far and please don't stress it here because this can get quite deep really fast. So be mindful, do a little bit less instead of more. Great job. And from here, maybe bring your feet, feet foot a little bit forward and then Bring your left leg, left hand to the right knee. Grab around with your right hand. Thumb is pointing up. Lift your back knee up. 
If you like to put something under the knee beforehand, you can do so, please do so. If you like to do some cloth be underneath it or some something else that makes it more uh, lo lovelier to do this position, you can do so. Put something under it so it's more cushioned. Grab around if your right thumb pointing up, grab the back of the leg. Get really straight from your hips up to the head and look over the right shoulder back. Great. If you can, you can bring your index finger of the hand that's attached to your foot right now down, pointing down on your leg, drawing in with the back elbow, looking over your shoulders back over the elbow, breathing in deep. Great job. Shoulders a little bit back if you can. And breathing out, releasing. Yay. And from there, bring your hands down, step up with your back leg and shift your leg back. Great, walk a little bit, bring your other foot up Oop. and your other foot forward. Whoa, what's happening? What's happening with my phone? And then Again, coming up, bring your foot a little bit more forward. If you need something under your knee, you can do so, right? Bring your toes back towards your body. Hold on to something, maybe some blocks by your sides. Or if you have a wall, you can also hold on to a wall. Hinge at the hips. Check that you're really hinging at the hips, not at your back. For me, this is already very, very deep here. So check with your body, check where you are today and honor where you are. Great. Keep your front leg a little bit bent so that's not fully straightened through. But it's a little bit bent. Great job. Breathing in deep into the belly, into the chest. Get long from your hips to the head. <sighs> breathing out and one more time, breathing deep. Uh, breathing out, maybe sink a little bit deeper and then release. Woo! Great job. Great job. From there, bring your foot a little bit back. So we have from the knee to the heel down one line and from the hips to the knee down one line. Then engage your psoas. This is here on the side. Engaging psoas and you should feel a hip flexor stretch here. Going down from the hip, down to the knee. Drawing the belly in and up a little bit. And if it's too less for me, it's kind of enough. If it's too less for you, you can bring your arms up and lean a little bit to the left without shifting at the hips. Just this little tiny bit, but be careful to not go too far. Wow, what's happening with my phone? It's bing, bing, bing. And then coming back, forward, foot a little bit forward, great. Bring your right arm to the left knee, keep your something under the knee if you like. Bring your left, bring your right knee up and grab around with the other hand right now. So left hand up with the thumb pointing up, bring your thumb to the back and grab onto the foot. From there, if you can pull in your foot enough, you can grab around with your arm. So the index finger is pointing down and then we can turn a little bit, bring the shoulders a little bit on the back. If you can, your belly, draw the belly in and up a little bit. Great job. And look over the left shoulders back. Woo! If you fall out of it, laugh about it. You're doing an awesome job. Breathing in deep. Ah, breathing out, releasing. Bring your arms down. Bring all the way to the hands. Step back to your back foot and shift yourself back. Walk a little bit with your heels up and down. 
push into the mounts of the fingers. <sighs> Great. Left and right walking here. And come quickly down, knees to the sides, to the big to the to the sides of the mat, big toes together. Sit back on your heels and reach forward by your sides. Release your arms. Shoulders a little bit away from the ears and breathing in deep into the belly, into the chest. Oh, you're popular this morning? Really, pumpkin? Ah, with the ping, ping, ping. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> That's funny. I don't know what's going on. So normally I turn my phone off. But breathing in deep into the belly, into the chest. By the way, pumpkin. I'm, I'm so excited, but um, again, about, are you here? <laughs> wait, wait. Yeah, first, I'm excited that you're here, but secondly, uh, did a package arrive? I, I kind of like, I'm wondering, not that I want, just, just, <laughs> just because I'm wondering, nothing more. There's no package that arrived at your place, unfortunately. That's sad, man. Uh, if, if there's no, no package arrived. But maybe there is one package that arrived already, maybe. Breathing in deeply. Uh, breathing out one more time. Breathe in deep into the belly, into the chest. And by the way, I wanted to ask you... When are you doing the yoga lesson that you planned? Push into the mounts of the fingers, claw your fingers a little bit, shift your hips up into the sky. And from there, bring your right leg up and come forward again, right leg forward. From there, just leave your left hand down and twist up with your right arm. Great. If you can do that, keep your left so your back leg is straight bring your right arm up breathing in deep and switching around maybe bring your feet a little bit more hip width distance apart bring your right uh, elbow down and turning around turn your 90 90 degrees the back leg yeah this the instruction weren't weren't that nice here so get along from your back leg to the top of the fingers draw the belly in and up here and then come forward and down again step up with your back foot again shift all the way to your hands and step back shift your hips up into the sky walk a little bit with your heels up and down great and then other leg forward so left leg up into the sky step forward whoo great and from there leave your right hand down bring your left hand up into the sky sorry for turning my back towards you i know it's not nice Hello there. <laughs> and then breathing out releasing that again turning your back leg around 90 degrees bring your elbow down and extend your arm fix your body draw the belly in and up great job and then release your hands down release the knee down and the leg back give your bring bring your knees to the outside of the mat Bring the big toes together and sit back and reach forward with your arms. Place your head down, breathing in deep. Your shoulders a little bit away from the ears, breathing deep into the belly, into the chest. If you feel some, some uh, stretches in your body, breathing deep into that pose or into that stretch. And breathing out, releasing, and again, breathing in, and release. Now switching around, let's come to our back. Make sure you move mindfully to your back. I have not received anything yet. If 
address and everything is correct I'm sure it is must be a little bit delayed the border yeah probably or the delivery people took it yeah yoga stream I need to see if I can get stream elements working so I can stream through if it I haven't got anything to work on it yet only twitch things broadcasting through itself okay okay I'll see you there so coming to your back lying down on your back Whew. how does that feel right now from there we kind of want to stretch our hamstrings again a little bit we already have done it but we want to be a little bit more playful there today again you know this little stretch that I really love love to do is rooting your left ankle down then bring your right leg up grab on, on below your knee this is especially good for people that do acrobatic yoga if you know what I mean if not don't worry about it release your hips down anchor your hips down and from there we push in we draw in a little bit we engage from the knee out and the foot extended to the sky and then draw the toes in and then the foot in and toes up and foot up toes down foot down and toes up foot up and again toes down foot down toes up foot up these are two movements so toes down is one movement foot down is one movement and now let's let's uh, turn it around so foot up toes up foot down toes down and feel a little bit the different stretches here going on toes up foot up probably it's a little bit delayed pumpkin so it will come soon I hope so but I, I don't have any way to follow the package unfortunately toes down foot down toes up foot up and then breathing in deep and as you're breathing out try it a little bit close try your leg a little bit closer keep your hips rooted down into the ground keep your ankle rooted down into the ground and then hold your leg where it is with your muscles release your arms down and release your legs slowly down to the ground Woo. awesome then root your right ankle down root your hips down and other leg up how does your other leg feel right now okay engage again from the knee out from the toes out up and then toes down foot down toes up foot up Toes down, foot down, toes up, foot up, toes down, foot down, toes up, foot up, toes down, foot down, toes up, foot up. Great. From there, also inverse the movement, so foot down, toes down, foot up, toes up. Draw in a little bit more maybe and one more time toes down foot down toes up foot up from there breathe in deep and breathing out draw in a little bit more see where you can go Re let your foot really be anchored down your hips anchored down see where you can go and hold your leg there as good as you can release your arms away and release your leg Whoop. great shake your legs a little bit side to side your hips a little bit left right great how does it feel bring your arms over the head and get longer in the right side body so right leg long right arm long left leg long left arm long and switch around Woo. growing we want to growing here not just mentally not just physically but both ways <laughs> in what we're doing we want to grow in our skills that we're doing but we also want to grow 
maybe physically a little bit more. And that's what we're doing here, growing. Oh. Bigger, taking up more space, growing. What does growing mean towards you as this, this is the topic of this lesson today? Great. And then, whew, releasing. Bring your arms by your sides into a cactus position. Bring your knees up and release the knees to the right and then to the left. To the right and to the left. Ooh, right and to the left. So pumpkin, I've got exciting news for you. Where I'm going to interview Grace, or we're we doing a discussion exactly about what is not clear at the moment. But in two weeks of time, uh, I think on Sunday, I'm not completely sure yet. 27th. I, I don't know what 27th uh, kind of date it is. But uh, we're going to do an interview uh, or a discussion at something in between there. And this is going, going to be very, very exciting to have a discussion between us. So, uh, and that's live streamed on Twitch. So if you like to check in there, feel free to do so. And yeah, it's going to be very much fun, I guess. And I also plan to interview or have discussions with other yoga teachers here on Twitch and also other people that that, uh, that are teachers uh, of meditation or of any kind of teachers or that, uh, that are just other personalities. I could also interview you if you like in one, at one point. But um, yeah, it's going to be awesome. I'm very much looking forward to that. And from there, slowly come back, knees up again. Great. And we're doing one thing that we haven't done for quite a while that I love to do. So in our last post today is a little bit of an inversion. So please find a wall if you can. Find a wall today. This is one of my favorite things to do. Find a wall then bring your hips close to the wall and shift your hips or your button towards the wall and lift your, your butt cheeks towards the wall and lift your feet up. And this is already an inversion. If this feels good to you, awesome. If this doesn't feel good to you or if there's some pain in your body, please listen to that pain and come out of it. If you like to go a little bit deeper even, you can bring your elbows next to your body and fingers are pointing up into the sky and shift your hips up into the sky. Grab onto your hips and extend your feet. And from there, ah, just look up into the sky, directly up into the sky, not looking left or right here because there's a lot of pressure on your neck right now. And we don't want to, um, we don't want to hurt our neck here. So what's happening here in this inversion is that all blood that was stuck in our toes is coming down into our body and we reoxygenate that blood. So breathing in deep into the belly here, belly into the chest. I'm breathing out and breathing in deep into the belly, into the chest. And out. Great. And one more time, deeply in. Belly into the chest. And out. Good. And from there, slowly stepping down and releasing vertebra by vertebra to the floor of your spine and shifting yourself to one side, extend your feet and come lie down in Shavasana. So extending your feet, arms are lying by your sides, palms are facing up towards the sky, toes are facing away from each other. 
and maybe feel a slight tickling sensation, slight tickling sensation in your feet right now. So you know that the blood is flowing back into your feet, to your legs. And just be right now in Shavasana. So arms are lying by your sides, palms are pointing towards the sky. This is important as this opens our shoulders a little bit more and it eases our breath in our chest. Just be, close your eyes, now we'll get you back to your body. And around a minute, just be. Deepening your breath, start to move your fingers, start to move your toes, coming back to your body. And when you're ready, draw your knees in towards your belly and shift yourself to either the left or the right side, coming to lie down on your side body. And from there, Rooting down to be able to grow, rooting down through your body, releasing all the tension in your body. Make this position comfortable to yourself, releasing the shoulders, releasing the neck, the tongue, softening the face, releasing all the arms, the elbows, the wrists, the fingers, releasing the chest, the hips, the, the belly. <laughs> The legs, the knees, the ankles, the heels, the toes, and feel the roots growing into the floor, breathing in deep. And with your next breath, lift yourself up and come into a final sitting position. Take your time breathing in deep. And when you're there, bring your hands in front of the heart together. Close your, have your eyes still closed. And thank you so much for practicing with me today. I hope you had a great yoga lesson. Honor your yoga lesson today. Uh, honor your yoga practice today. <laughs> 
and I wish you a wonderful day. Release your arms, opening the eyes, and thank you so much for practicing with me again. And again, if you like to reach out to me, you can do so via Twitch. If you have any ideas, suggestions, or questions, always feel free to reach out to me next to that. If you have um, not just via Twitch, but also via Discord. Discord is a chat program. You can join the chat program and uh, connect with me. And next to that, I also have a YouTube channel. If you can't get enough of me, you can check out my YouTube channel. Uh, subscribe and hit the bell there. And of course, I appreciate every follow that you can give me here on Twitch. And I wish you a wonderful day. And I hope to see you very, very soon. Thank you so much for being here and have a wonderful day. Namaste. And with that said, we are going to raid somebody. I'm always excited for that. And if there's nothing more to say, thank you so much for being here, Pumpkin, today. And I really appreciate you. And I hope you have had a great day and uh, hope you can sleep very well. If that's that, let's go and raid somebody today. Let's see who's online first, but I think um, I saw already that um, Otis is online. So we're going to raid Otis because I like raiding here. And yeah, let's see what she's doing. So you guys, uh, Otis, no, have, have a great, great day. And let me tell you something more about Otis. Otis is doing a lot of, um, uh, not knitting, but sewing. Yeah, sewing is probably the better word. And she's very talented. She uh, also plays a lot of games and she's very chill, chilled. So if you just need somebody to hang out with and talk to, uh, She's the person to do that with. So with that said, have a wonderful day and I hope to see you very soon again. And yeah, bye bye. Let's go, let's go there. Send her some love. Bye guys, see you very soon. Thank you for being here.